All right, guys, so we are going to do a little bit of a test today because, as many of you know, I ordered one of the new MacBook Pros with the M1 chip in it. And I've had a lot of people commenting on that video that was in regards to why I decided to go with that machine versus uh, this machine here that you guys can't necessarily see, which is my 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is running an i9, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and the upgraded video card. Now I also have a 2020 uh, iMac i7 with 64 gigs of RAM with the upgraded video card. And we're seeing now, especially since the machines, the new M1 machines are gonna be released. Well, some actually have been showing up at people's houses already, but really officially released tomorrow. Uh, we're seeing a lot of benchmarks come out. So for instance, here we're seeing M1 chip beats GeForce GTX 1050 Ti and the Radeon RX 560 for graphics performance, and that's and that's kind of kind of awesome, kind of cool. Uh, if we come up here, a little further up here, this was this was actually a big one. Um, is that talking about like Cinebench scores? And this one I think right here is the really the interesting one because this is the Cinebench score. So as you can see here on the screen. 7508 multi-core, 1498 for single core. And that's really putting this machine up against like the 16 inch MacBook i9 with kind of upgraded specs. So that's all great. Benchmarks are, are fantastic. They're, they work really good. And we're gonna be doing some, I wanna say real life scenarios down the road, but I kind of wanted to do a real life scenario today. And I don't have a MacBook with an M1, but I do have an iPad, which is running the A14 processor. So again, that's a processor that's not as strong as the M1, because it doesn't have as many cores, but I'm gonna put in my MacBook, iMac, and the iPad Air, fourth generation, the same clip. So I believe we should have somewhere in and around four or five minutes worth of mixed footage so all 4k some shot with the iphone 12 some shot with a canon r6 with 4k 24 frames and some r6 footage with 4k 60 frames and we're basically throwing that into a timeline and we're going to let these three machines render now we're going to do them one at a time at least for me because i need to be able to use this as the timer and i wanted to really see that speed because one of the issues really that the macbook has and this is why i'm really excited to see what the m1 processor in the new macbook air macbook pro is going to be like is thermal throttling so when you see a benchmark that throttling really doesn't get a chance to take place because the machine doesn't get a chance to really heat up so it's when it heats now even today with these the hope is that this will take you know a couple minutes of intense rendering out that you we may start to see some throttling especially on the macbook pro but i'm really curious to see what the speed difference will be with the ipad so we're going to come over to the macbook here and i've got i got my phone on my phone's got my my half my hefty timer so i'm going to put that right there and we're gonna we've actually got this set up here with our footage we've got a 4k 24 frame timeline so that means you know that's got to be some conversion and we're going to just take all this footage right here click that bring it on the timeline looks good and then as soon as we hit share we're going to say share as apple devices 4k yep click now this is a 600 700 meg file it's going to create onto the desktop ready so i'm going to hit Start and go, ready? And go. And this one's off. So what we're gonna do is bring this up here and we're gonna we're gonna sit back. Now I may speed this up for you guys so you don't have to wait for the amount of time. But this is the MacBook Pro, and this is approximately four and a half minutes time the timeline in total. It's 12 video clips, all of mixed frame rates. From different cameras giving giving the computer a little bit a little bit of a, a workout but not too crazy so we'll we'll let this chug along shall we yes macbook pro 16 inch i9 32 gigs of ram 
upgraded video card. I'll put the specs on the screen here for you. Now, the other thing to just kind of be aware, the machines may be a little faster than what we're showing because they are also screen recording at the same time. So that's gonna take a little bit of power, but not much, but all of them are doing it. So they're all screen recording. So that same kind of amount of power that's needed should be a little, or at least fairly equal across the board. All right, so the MacBook Pro is hitting 20% at about 40 seconds. And the fan has kicked on. So the fan's already kicked on. And as we know, the iPad has no fan, so there's no cooling. But yeah, you can, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Maybe, maybe not, because the mic's facing me, but the fan's definitely, definitely going. And you can see at the top of my screen, um, it is at 81 degrees Celsius right now, and the fans, you can see the fans kicking up. 4132, 4179, they're climbing, trying to keep the machine cool. All right, and we are at, coming up at 50%. All right, so the first 50% right here took a minute and 47 seconds. So the curiosity now is, you know, will it take twice as much time? So, you know, a minute and 45 and a minute and 45, we're looking at three and a half minutes. Is that right? Three and a half minutes? A little, just a little bit more? But if that throttling is kicking in, I'm wondering if that will ha make that second half even, even slower than the first half. All right, and like I said, I think this is where that throttling already is coming into play. We're already at three and a half minutes and we just broke 76%. So, the second half is definitely taking longer than the first half. And that's because, as you can see, the fans are at pretty much full right now, but that CPU is definitely being throttled to slow it down. So that's the big concern with, with this machine when you're doing video editing. This is just a simple timeline with no, no edits to it at all, no color grading, no filters, no transitions, no nothing. It's just playing with some mixed footage and you can already hear and see how, how much longer that second half takes over the first half. Coming up on five and a half minutes now. Share successful. Five minutes, 31 seconds. Five minutes, 31 seconds. All right, so we're gonna stop that. 531 for it to export, and that's on the MacBook. So you guys can see that here. All right, we are going to reset this and now we're going to come over to the iMac so we're going to make sure that there's final cut right there very good same kind of timeline is set up so it's a 4k 24 we got the exact same footage so we're going to bring it in here bring it all in awesome get this all ready and we are going to come up to the share. Now my expectation is this will be faster. This machine should be quicker, I think, but I don't know. Okay, Apple devices, iMac, yep. And ready, set, go. Okay, so same deal. I don't expect the fans to kick in as fast here, nor the throttling to take effect maybe even at all or and if it does not nearly as aggressively so we're gonna we're gonna see how long this one takes to see if it can beat five and a half minutes yeah the iMac already much faster we're coming up at 35 percent and we're just at a minute so if it can keep that speed up considerably quicker now the other thing to realize is we're at a minute and 10 seconds and the fans on the MacBook are just slowly starting to slow down. So, others, you know, it's not doing anything. And it's taken a couple minutes for it to cool down. All right, we hit that 50% mark again. Minute 40. So, it's a little faster. But I think, because the other one was a minute 47 for the first 50%, I believe it was. The thing is, is this one, like the fans haven't kicked on or anything like that. So I think this one will continue its speed. 
so it won't have an issue. So my guess is somewhere in and around the three, three and a half minutes, this one should be done, which that's a, that's a big difference between the MacBook. Yeah, I think we're going to be right in around that three and a half minute mark, which is great because this shows that there's not much throttling on the iMac. The iMac has a much better uh, breathing or cooling system inside it. It allows its processor to stay running. It's also the i7, and the i7 doesn't get near as hot as the i9. That was one of the big things that I realized, even with a MacBook. I almost wish that I went with the i7 just because it runs a bit cooler than the i9, and I don't think it throttles as fast. So this one here, we're at 340 right now at 80%, but that last 20% goes by like, like just snaps by. She's definitely slower on the last, the last 50% though. She's at almost five minutes right now. So I thought she was going to be much quicker on the sharing, but we, we just hit five minutes. 517. So not again, that second half. She just says, no, no, I gotta, but the fan never came on. The fan never came on five and a half minutes. Uh, or 517 for the iMac. Okay, so it's it's got the benchmark right now. It's the fastest, but we're going to the iPad. iPad Air, fourth generation. This is running the A14, of course. Okay, so we're actually in iMovie right here, and we're gonna create a clip. Yeah, movie. We're gonna do this one, 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 this one. Okay, I think I think that's it. Great movie. And there we go. Perfect. We're going to bring up my clock here. And done. Brings us here. Hit the little share. Save video. Oh, there it goes. Let's get start. Okay. So it's on the on the iMac and the MacBook, it was pretty close to a minute per minute of footage somewhere in that range because we have about five minutes worth of video and it took just over five minutes to export it so we'll see how this does and again mixed footage right we got some pretty high-end footage coming in off like the r6 in 4k 4k 60 and 4k 24 now I'm just eyeballing it here because I can't, there's no percentage marker, but I'm saying we're at about 50% and we're at two minutes. So the actual iPad was a little bit slower, I'd say, than both these machines. But I don't know if this has much for throttling. So if it can keep that speed up all the way through the whole process, then it may actually catch up on the back end. Yeah, see, the big thing here is that progress bar is just super consistent. It may actually be speeding up at the end here. Yeah, it's definitely speeding up. Three minutes, we're easily at about 80%. You guys can see, you can see that right there, right? Yeah, this is definitely going to beat it. Three and a half, we're close. We're easily 90, 90%, maybe more. Three minutes, 46, 47 seconds. 347 versus the iMac, which was the fastest of the Intel machines, which came in at 517. So that's a huge difference. And this is this is not not doing anything you know exciting for these. These didn't start off heated up, heated up. They didn't start off with their CPU hot. So these machines just get slower the more you use them. This seemed to get faster as it went along. That's probably why I'm so excited to really try the new MacBook, MacBook Pro uh, with the M1. The A14 already is beating these machines in an actual video render out. So the M1 is gonna be even quicker. So make sure you guys hit the like, subscribe, uh, comment down below hit that little notification bell because as soon as we get the new machine We're gonna put Final Cut on it. And we actually have a project uh, already created sitting on this hard drive right here and uh, 
it's got a bit of everything. It's got mixed footage. It's got LUTs. It's got filters. It's got sharpening. It's got color grading. It's got audio work done to it. It's got multi layers. Uh, and we're going to do another process like this to really see how much faster, or if it is, that new M1 chip is in comparison to these machines. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Get down there, hit the bell, hit subscribe, leave a comment, share it, do all the cool stuff, and we'll see you later. I'm out.